Okay, please state your name. My name is Marisol Pena. Okay, and where are you from, Marisol? I am from LA. Okay, and what college did you go to? I went to Cal State University of Northridge. Okay, and do you get teaching credential as well? I don't actually. I have oh. a, a bachelor's in English subject matter, which is for people who are going to be teaching English at the secondary level. Oh, cool. Okay. And uh, how long have you been here in South Korea? I've been here for almost three years. All right. And why did you come to Korea in the first place? I came to Korea because a few years ago I was working in real estate before I was working for the public schools back home. Uh, and a co-worker of mine told me that she had done a year here in Korea. She was Korean-American. Uh, she told me how much of a great time she had and how cool Korea was. So I thought it sounded really cool. Wanted to give it a try. And is it a good decision? It was. I mean, okay. I'm still here. I've been here for, <laughs> uh, for almost three years, and I'm not planning on leaving yet. So. And Marisol, okay. tell me some of the good things about your Korean experience. Ah, yes, good things about Korea. Uh, the quality of life is definitely better here. Um, you know, I was working for the public schools back home, and I never had the kind of time um, or the money <laughs> uh, to do the things that I'm doing here. Um, you know, working for public schools back home didn't really get a lot of money. Working here still don't make that much money, but the money goes a longer way. So I get to travel a lot more while I'm here. I never really did much traveling while I was back home. Since I got here, I've been to... China, I've been to Taiwan, I've been to Indonesia, I've been to Japan, and I'm planning on going to a lot more places, so that's definitely part of the perks of being here. Well, and what about like living here in Korea? And living culture, here Korea? in Korea, um, well, uh, you might have to uh, cut the, you know, cut this video a little <laughs> so, bit. Because yeah, so, tell me some of the uh, advantages about living in Korea. Um, one of the advantages of being here in Korea is definitely the cultural aspect and getting to know somebody who's different. Uh, I'm from LA, like I said earlier, and so we have a huge mixed uh, crowd of people there. Um, however, you know, even with having the, the biggest Korea town in the world, the biggest population of Korean people outside of Korea, um, I still didn't come in contact with a lot of Korean people all the time, so I have been able to um, learn more about the culture. I love Korean food now. I mean, I liked it back then when I was home, but now I really, really love it. I can't imagine my life without kimchi, kimchi. or rice. Yeah, yeah kimchi and yeah. rice. I could eat kimchi and rice for the rest of my life and I'd be fine. Except for tacos. I need tacos. Yeah, but, tacos. yes, uh, so the Korean food, the, the culture. Also, um, you know, I'm brown. Uh, I am Mexican-American and there aren't a lot of uh, foreigners here and especially there aren't a lot of brown or black foreigners so I think it's it's definitely cool to be able to be here and um, you know expose Korean people to different people of the world you know educate them and then they educate me about their culture it's pretty cool I think it's a give and take. And didn't you do some kind of like Mexican culture day at your school? I like did that? actually when I was working for my last Hagwon we had a Mexican day um, I was planning on m making more cultural days, but we actually kind of ran out of time for that. Uh, but we did have a, a Mexican day where I made tacos, or actually I ordered tacos from a restaurant. Oh, oh, and we put them actually. together there. I, I'm not going to cook all of that. But we did put them together there with the kids. We uh, talked to the kids about Mexican culture, about Mexican food, Mexican music, and all that good uh, stuff. So it was a lot of fun. The kids really enjoyed it. They loved the food. They loved the, the entire event. So it was, it was a good time. Okay, great. What are some uh, difficulties about living here in South Korea? Ah, okay. Well, you know, along with being here and having the, the good things, there are also, of course, going to be bad things. Um, one of the, the bad things about being here is, of course, I miss home. I miss my family. I miss the, the mixture of cultures that, that's in L.A. and in the U.S., really. Um, Korea is very homogenous, so because of that, they're not really used to a lot of foreigners. So like I said, I do enjoy uh, educating Korean people about foreigners and learning about Korea also, but it, it's difficult sometimes because they're just really not used to us. Um, I've had people come up to me, especially kids, 
come up to me and they want to touch my hair. Yeah, actually, kids pet my arm hair all actually, the time. Actually, I shouldn't say especially kids because I have a lot of grown ups do that to me too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there, there, the other, what was it? Maybe a month or two ago, I was in an elevator and there was a girl in the elevator standing behind me, and all of a sudden I feel, I feel this like a tugging <laughs> in my hair, and I. It was gentle, so she wasn't like pulling on my hair hard or anything. But I turned around, and she's just, you know, playing with my hair, you know, just dilly dallying with it. I was like, well, okay, you find my hair interesting. It's curly. They don't have curly hair here, so I always get the the question, teacher, Pama, do I, do you have a perm? <laughs> no, my hair is not permed, and they can't believe it. Um, so it is it is difficult sometimes dealing with with that, you know, the constant pointing and. Uh, questions about my hair, questions about my skin. Does does the you know if you take a shower, does the brown wash off? Oh, no, it doesn't wow. wash off. <laughs> I'm brown. That's how I am. That's how I was born. So there are there are you know there are things that are difficult, but overall the the positive really outweighs the the negative. Okay. Um, do you have any advice for people who are considering coming to Korea? Hmm. Advice. Keep an open mind. Because if you come over here thinking that everything is going to be exactly like it is back home because it, it is now a developed nation. I don't think that, you know, it is a developing nation anymore, right? Oh, it is no. technically considered a developed nation. I mean, we have the fastest internet in the world or whatever. But if you think that everything's going to be the same way that it was back home because it is, you know, very technologically advanced and whatnot, it's not going to be the same. Believe me. I... I I like to say that Korea is the land of upside down <laughs> for me specifically because it's it's so different from from what home is for me you know it's nothing's the same the people don't think the same way that that they do back home things just don't work the same way that they do back home so you have to come up come to Korea with an open mind as you know understand that it's going to be different and you just kind of have to roll with it okay uh, what are some personality traits of people who are good teachers here in South Korea? Um, I think if you want to be a good teacher here in South Korea, you have to be, like I said, you have to be open-minded. Um, you can't tell your kids, you can't go at your kids telling them, you know, the way you're learning it is wrong or, or anything like that. You also kind of have to really embrace your goofy side, or at least that's what I do. I've really embraced the goofy side of Marisol. I mean, I used to do that already back home, but really working with, with kids here, especially with kindergartners, because I work with three and four year olds, um, I really have to have a lot of energy when I go into the, into the classroom. I have a very expressive face sometimes, I think. And it really helps. So if practice your goofy faces in the mirror, really <laughs> practice it before you come over here. Because really, if you can do that, you can you can teach just about any level. Because people are gonna respond to goofiness no matter. Okay, Marisol, do you matter. have any final thoughts? Any fun stories you want to share with people? Uh, fun stories, fun memories. Um, I have a lot of fun memories uh, about working with kids specifically. I mean, I when I was back home, I worked with middle schoolers and elementary school kids and even a couple of kindergartners, but not as much as I do here, especially now I'm working with three and four year olds. But in my last Hagwon, my kindergartners were really cute. I mean, when I first when I first came into that to that school uh, or went into that school, they spoke absolutely no English. They really, they would walk around and grunt. They would, they would actually grunt at me. They, they would go, teacher, because that, that was the only word that they knew. Teacher, uh, grr, uh, grr, 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 like they'd bark. <laughs> they would bark at me. They'd bark and they'd meow and they'd moo cow at me and whatever. Um, you know, I really have a lot of fun fond memories of those kids. Yeah, animal yeah. children. The animal children, they would bark at me because that's all that they knew was, was animal sounds because they, you know, those kind of translate no matter, I mean, there are some animal sounds that are different, I think, in Korean, but uh, yeah, they translate pretty well. Um, you know, kids running around, sticking pencils in their noses. Uh, I had a student who had a Korean name that to me sounded because I was learning Korean at, at that time. When she told me her name, I thought her name sounded like Chamchi, which means tuna. And she was like, Don't oh, teach her, my name is not Chamchi. And I called her Ch Chamchi for the rest of the time that I knew her. And, you know, she would 
She grunts at me also. Like, <laughs> I'm not tuna. What are you uh. doing, Chomchi? And she loved it. She actually thought it was really fun because, you know, none of the other teachers would goof around with her like, like that. Um, so, really, like I said, practice your goofy faces. Uh, I have a lot of really good memories with those kids. Okay. Well, great. Thank you, Marisol. Um, and if you would like a job teaching in South Korea, like Marisol here, please send your resume to instructasia at gmail.com, yeah. and uh, I can help you get here. So, anyway, peace out. Peace. See you later.